Heavy rains wreaked havoc in northeast Australia on December 14, downing trees, cutting power and forcing evacuations and road closures as residents face a risk of life-threatening flash floods. Jasper pummeled the far north regions of Queensland state, home to several resorts along the world-famous Great Barrier Reef, after making landfall on December 13 as a Category 2 storm, three rungs below the most dangerous wind speed level, the storm, now downgraded to a tropical low, was tracking in a northwesterly direction toward the Gulf of Carpentaria, where it could intensify back to cyclonic strength over the weekend, Australia's Bureau of Meteorology said in its latest update, despite the downgrade of the storm, the Weather Bureau warned residents in cyclone-hit regions that heavy rain was forecast there over the next 24 hours. If, you, if pigs were going to fly, it was last night, but it was pretty... <laughs> It was, it was all good, I think everyone survived it, so that's the main thing. It was interesting, we were uh, well, uh, well prepared and um, a bit ominous. Uh, especially when it got dark and electricity went out, but uh, overall uh, it was an uh, interesting experience to say the least. Yes, we've still got no power. We lost power at 20 to 7 last night, so everything's getting a bit wet and a bit moist, everyone, so we need some aircon and electricity, please. <laughs> So we're really trying to just encourage people today to stay up to date with those warnings as this is an evolving situation and the rainfall has not stopped yet and is likely to continue well into today and into this evening as well. As well as the riverine flooding risk, we've also seen heavy to locally intense rainfall which can lead to flash flooding. If we see these fall in a short period of time, so that's intense rainfall falling within a short period of time, that's when we can see uh, that dangerous and very life-threatening flash flooding.